This is the J-Bar roof rack that you'll be getting. There's two complete units. Right now we're just showing one and all of its assorted hardware. It comes with a strap for each set of bars, but we also recommend that you use a bow and a stern strap as well for extra security. We're gonna show you how to assemble this. There is uh, two sides of the bar and one is the male side and one is the female side. So the first thing we're going to do is slide the rubber plate onto the female side. You might have to maneuver this a little bit. The sixth hole should be facing upwards. And now we'll put in the male side. And when that's all the way in, you'll just have to adjust the plate to align with the holes. Once you have those six holes aligned, you're gonna use these four short bolts in the corners. And we'll show the first one. You might have to work it through to get the alignment properly set up. And then once on the other side, you'll be putting on this metal plate. You'll put the rounded side down to conform with the rubber side. Put on the washers and loosely attach the bolts. Okay, you can see that I've tightened all four of them now with a half inch wrench. Both these short bolts and the long ones have a square shape at the top. So when you insert them, they match into a square shape in the pipe itself and that makes it easy to tighten. With those four bolts tightened, we're going to do the last two long ones. They go in the middle holes. You put one side of the plate on with the washer and the carriage bolt. And then you'll bring this to your car, to the roof rack. You'll move this side out of the way, put the rack in between there, and then feed the other bolt, washer, and nut through the other side and tighten it such that it'll be on your car this way. 